burning him down as well. And turns around for the Spirit. First Blood will be there for crit. Five more seconds on that. They get the kill on a Skitter, meanwhile. They took out the Gyrocopter for Tundra, and they end up losing White Mon. Roll coming in. Now the Magnetize the Disruption to try and save him. Earth Splitter's going to be thrown out, but it's not going to land. They'll go and get the kill onto the Luna. No, not yet. Still surviving. Finally, Nightfall is dead, but the look over at Malreen. He's going to hit the roll on a 33, and they'll end up trading right, away. On. Oh, he gets a double. Gets the up. Ooh, Disruption. Looking for the sleep, but the BKB's been popped. They'll go for the Shadow Team and they'll take out Sox at first. They were thinking about throwing the Doom out there, but now they've got the roll. They'll look over the Ember with 33. He has the BKB. They go after Skitter, but they got the Sharpshooter. They get the gun of Warren off. They're trying to get Skitter. They'll at least get the Gyro. Now the turnaround on a 33. Three heroes dead on the side of Tundra Esports is Falcons. 33 needs to be careful to roll in. The Primal Roar on this BKB. Phoenix. He got the BKB off, and this will be a dead Snake King to start. He'll at least get that, but they lose 33 again. All five heroes show up for Falcons. Got Doom for Roar. They go to the Disruption once again. Nightfall going to start pushing this Tier 3 tower by. And they're going behind. They'll look back. over. They got the Doom out of the Beastmaster. The Magnetize is going to connect and go to the BKB from Amar. Nightfall at the front. He's got the Magnetize on him as well, but he still has that Aegis. They're going to look to maybe kill Amar. Once he's out of position, they got him away. The Lucid Beam is going to get the kill to the Doom. They're going to turn this around as Nightfall is trying to stand his ground, but Aegis is taken out. That's such They've a got good Skitter. Deck. Supernova is on the time. They've got the roll. They'll try to get the kill with the disruption from Soxa once again. He's more enough. He's here. 33 comes back in. He's got the refresher shot. He's going to look over at Skitter. They look to get the kill with the Gyro Counter. His BKB is gone. The damage is there from Nightfall. And they take out Gyro. No buybacks. No buyback available. Malreen bought back. But now they are on their last leg here. Ooh, if they're, they they're get too low. taken too low. again. <laughs> so they need to calm down on yeah, Tundra. Yeah. Oh, the this, this smoke is. Going to connect for sure. Snake King. Slight of fist. They'll go to the roar and they'll take out Snake King. They want more though. Skitter, he's in trouble. The refresher orb. They go to the primal orb. They got the doom out of the Luna. But is it going to be enough? Meanwhile, Warnoff trying to go after Crit. They get the kill to Warnoff. They the doom. They'll go after Skitter. This Gyro's not going to survive. He's going to be dead for 95 seconds. No buyback. Malreen going in. That's pretty intense for Justin Earth Spirit, who's going to try and use this Magnetize to bring back the fight a little bit. They get the kill to the Elder Titan. But Malreen now Moon running nice away back. from Warnoff. They've got the Slight of Fist, the Searing Chains, the Control is there with the Lucid Beam, the Roll Attempt. But oh, 33 points in front of him. Stops his roll, stops the groove of Falcons, and it's a full team wipe for Tundra Esports. Spotted, but behind them, they go to the Primal Roar, they find the Phoenix, and this is no Supernova. No, no buyback buy either. Ooh, in front of the roll again is 33. They go to the Geomagnetic Rift. They've got the silence out of three of these heroes. They get the Magnetize down as well. 33 going to be saved with the Disruption. That means Malreen's roll goes a little bit too far, but he's got the Enchant Totem. So he's fine for now. Amar's going to pop roar. that BKB. The Primal Roar is going to be on a Skitter. They'll try to get 33 out with the BKB. He'll get into the trees. They nope. look over at Amar. Now they'll drop the Eclipse. They get the kill to the Doom. He's got buyback. Oh, the Remnant, the Sleep, the Control, the Damage, the Kill on the Skitter. Gyro is gone. <laughs> It was a nice attempt from Falcons to at least try and contest that Roshan. I was so sure that they will not, but of course they realize if we don't, the game is probably already over anyway. They have Warnoff. these buybacks, but now disruption for the save. Malreen, they'll get the kill to oh, Warnoff. He no doesn't buyback. have buyback. He's dead for 100. Sox is deep in the base. They bought back on the Doom as well as the Gyrocopter. They're going to go after this Shadow Demon and take Soxa with them. And that's two heroes dead on Tundra with three heroes that can certainly take Roche. Yeah, if they if had... It's Malreen in the front. The Primal oh, Roar, the Lucid damage. Beam, he's dead immediately. They go to the Eclipse, they're gonna drop it down, trying to get the kill to create the Remnant forward from Warren off the side of Fizz, the Roar Remnant! Another one in the Fountain to get the kill to create. He doesn't have buyback, but Malreen does. They'll focus on the throw, 33 trying to get it here as they'll drop down the Magnetize. They've got the G-Magnetic Grip on a couple of these heroes, but the Primal Roar is gonna be on to Skidder. He'll be dead. Divine Rapier on the deck. Game one looking to go the way of Tundra. They get the first life out of the hands of this Luna, but with the creeps pushing in, Divine on the ground. It's not looking good for Falcons. Four heroes dead. Malreen by himself. He's gonna die. Tundra have done it in game number one, and they start the BO5 off with a victory. A oh, very good game by Tundra. Going at it. Would a mid lane be more rock and roll? I mean, technically, yeah, sure. <laughs> Crit. Crit. Low, gone, White Mon getting first blood. Tundra, they get first blood this game, and it's that clockwork that grabs it. They finally catch Crit out of position. Yeah, he went to a little. 
They still want to go for 33. They've got the Ignite. They also need to be careful for this Lion that's coming over to the side. Maureen but Maureen is here. here. Swashbuckle Requiem. Rolling Thunder. They put it together. They get the kill on a 33. And that is another death on that Bristleback. They slow him down. Meanwhile, White Mon caught. Battery Assault has the cogs trying to get around him. Rocket Flare, not going to be enough, but here comes the roll. The Gorgon's Grass is off the mark. And Amar just TPs out. Can they get their roll to start? Swashbuckle hook shot. It's all off the mark. And now the Shield Crash, but the cogs, they have the stun. Thinking about the Rolling Thunder, but there's the Earth Spike. They'll follow it up with a Hex. They start to disengage. Amar looking to at least find some control, but the Geomagnetic Grip is there to silence him up as Tundra, despite the fact that that initiation was pretty botched. They get out without losing anybody. They should be very happy with how everything Ooh, ended, no. considering they absolutely whiffed the initiation. They would have loved to have Radiant these stacks. Maybe this is an opportunity for them to bring everyone, contest them. White Mon is definitely here. He is trying, but he is kind of alone for now. He's alone, but is this the start of something for Tundra? They lose White Mon. They've gotten the magnetized. Do they want to continue? 33 tucked in the corner, and he's dead already. They fought back on White Mon. They'll find this Shadow Fiend. The arena's down. The spear connects. Oh, he oh gets a man! The Requiem in death takes out White Mon and Lorinoff because of the arena and spear. They're looking, but the TP's over. Amar, blink, spear connecting on a White Mon. They have the Rolling Thunder. It's on to this Bristle, but kind of bouncing off the cogs. The disruption onto Amar. They get the kill to Amar. They'll end up losing White Mon only so far. But here comes Malreen again. Nightfall. 33 is dead. Nightfall doesn't have the mana. Trying to TP out and escapes. But the Magnetize isn't going to be enough damage coming in from here. Lorinov, the roll attempt, but down goes Crit. Down goes Lorinov. Skidder now dominating. And they want this Tormentor as well. Yeah, that's three for two. Will they wait for the Wisdom Room? Because that... There's no way to stop this. They just moved bottom. They went for the Tormentor. Roll in. Kick with the Hex. But it, it's not doing a much damage yet. They already got the Arena and the Spear to get the kill on a Soxa. Skitter just stands his ground with a BKB pop by 33. The Quills, they're stacking up. But Skitter's still alive. He just hits away at this 33. Bristleback, he still has an Aegis to go with. They got the kill to the Clockwork. They forced the buyback out of the hands of this Lion. Swashbuckle into the Hex. The Pangolier may be in a little Big bit grim. too far. They've got themselves the kill to Malreen. He's going to be dead for 70 seconds, but Skidder comes forward. He's already used the Requiem. They look over to Mar. Now the Mars trying to survive. Nightfell doing the damage. They get the kill to Amar. They're taking the, this, this Mars, and they've got buyback on two. Buyback on Skidder with the BKB. Oh, Hurricane Pike, White Mon, three shots, still alive. They've got the kick, they've got the control. They're got the finger, they get the kill. They'll look for the, another one. Shadow Demon Crit, trying to do anything Ultra. that he can. Crit's got ultra kill for Nightfall. Where's the poster boy? In the crowd, this was like a little bit of everything by Tundra. In the end, of course, they... Tundra, they're the ones working with this Aegis, but the positioning's not exactly amazing, but they're gonna roll in anyway. They get the control onto this Pango. But Pango, he's got the Amplified damage. They go and find themselves 33. They'll land the Spear. They've got the break. They have the damage, but the, back is the gone. Stone Gaze, they'll get the kill on a 33. They're gonna refresh on Amar, but the damage coming out from the Divine Rapier with the Medusa is not gonna be enough to save the life of Nightfall just to start. Magnetize, Disruption, coming in from Crit. They've got the Arena. Once again, they go to the finger. They get the kill to Amar. Now they look over the Medusa. Surrounded and gone. Divine Rapier is down, picked up by Malreen, Warnoff dies, everybody's gonna fall here on Tundra. Falcons wipe them all out. Exactly on the wall. And they just call they GG. They just call it, yep. So Falcons that will even it. up the series at one. We're going at least four games, and Tundra on that last fight, even with the Aegis fall short. But Of the HP that you Ooh, lost. Man, there it is. There it they is. get level two first, they use the Fire Spirits, they get first blood for the Alchemist. They want to fight top. They're gonna go, they'll look to get this kill immediately on a Snake King TP attempt from Alreen, oh, but the hook God. shot is there. They've got the Viper Strike, and this is a dead Storm Spirit. Lane, and now Amar is on the run for 33, he's, but Crit is here too. They drop the Arena, they've got the Spiderlings. 33 is gonna be able to survive a good amount of this damage, but the Spear connects on the edge of this. He needs to get away, but he'll end up dead to Crit. Nobody coming over, I mean, that was a fight that 33 wanted to take. But at the end of the day, he gets beaten by his own aggression. Yeah, I feel like the idea might have been that someone goes through the Twin Gate to assist him or something similar, but 
Crit. So Skitter's down here again, but they charge up the stun. They might find Skitter once more. Oh no, the gyro's out a bit far. The disruption comes through. They've got the cogs. The damage is it going to be enough though. Soxa, Soxa in trouble. That's He'll end shard. up dead. But now Malreen with that shard outputting a good amount of damage to help Skitter get away. But the Viper Strike is there. They'll be able to get the kill to the gyrocopter. They look for crit. Shadow Demon on the run. The Shadow Poison had three stacks on 33, but that number is higher, and so are the Spider Wings. They'll get the kill out of the Shadow Demon. They're pinging out Skitter as well. So, 33. Well, they'll, they'll go. They've got the arena. They go to the spear. They have the damage on a 33, but the sun ray, not enough. Knight falls in, looking to get something out of this. They've got the Aegis to work with. The Viper Strike's going to be out of skin of the right clicks coming in from Nightfall. They'll get the kill to the Gyrocopter. Dead for 52 seconds. BKB from Amar. The right clicks on a crit. Three heroes got on the side of Falcons. They'll even look for more of the Mars. They chase him for a second, the blink into the stun. Warnoff hitting away, hook shot from Saxa. That's gonna be four dead on the side of Falcons. Everything is up for the side of Tundra. There's the hook shot. But the blink into the back lines, looking over at this Shadow Demon. Oh, Supernova towards the front. Crit's gonna be dead. Nobody else, though, in range of this supernova exploding. Now, Reem's actually going to look over at Nightfall. They're going to try and get the kill to the Alk? Maybe. They've got the life the drain, but there's the nullifier on the Snake King. The stun's going to land with the spear. Oh, they're taking so much charging damage. up the stun with the BKB. They'll look over at 33. The call down is going to be enough to get the kill now. Amar's going to be running forward with the BKB. Pop by Warnoff. White Mon trying to run, but the Ball Lightning Vortex is there to get the control and kill off another. Falcons, hook shots off cooldown. Rocket Flare is going to spot Skitter. They're going to Ball Lightning in and look for this Alchemist. Sunray, they've got more than enough to save him. He'll pop the BKB so he doesn't get self stunned. They've got the Viper Strike. they got the damage on the 33. They'll take out this Broodmother, but the BKB is going to run out on Nightfall in a moment. They need to start to retreat. Hook shot was used. Maybe they charge up another stun as Malreen's BKB is going to run out. He's charging up that stun. Blinks on a Malreen. Goes for the storm, but they've got the disruption save from Crit. He's off to the side. Egg. Supernova, is the egg going to pop? It looks like no. It's not going to go off. They still get Skitter. They get the kill to the Gyrocopter. They lost White Mon trying to get a Supernova out. And Malreen. is it going to be the fight ender that they wanted? No. It is not Falcons who are able to take full advantage there of killing off the Supernova as they do lose that Shadow Demon. For somebody which might be Crit, Radiant Smoke Breaks, Oscar. charges up the stun. Crit didn't get to a good enough spot to hide. The Nullifier is there, and the Disruption's on to an Illusion, so they lose Crit for 48 seconds, no buyback. Yeah, he truly didn't blink too far away. Gets caught, but they're also hunting me. Icarus Dive, Yules, Amar. He's going to be forced to use that BKB, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. They're in front of him, they're life trading him, trying to keep him alive. They go to the arena, but they look over at Snake King. It's going to be the Alchemist going for it. The hook shot misses Skitter. on the Lamar, but they still chase him down. Skitter surrounded by everybody on the side of Tundra. They go to the ball landing, but Lorreen's trying to save them, but he can't do so. Four heroes dead on the side of Falcons once again, and Tundra still three minutes on this Aegis. Yeah, they're just initiating so damn well. The Yules setting up everything. Just enough time for everyone else to come. And this is drone area. This might be game. I, they have to buy back on Gyro, but you're still going up against two lives on this Viper. They have the Glyph. And because of that, and the buyback on Gyro, Lorenov is showing actually no restraint, no respect. He's going straight for the throne still. He's wondering where the rest of the buybacks are, knowing that Amara doesn't have his nullifier stun. Supernova! Skitter's in trouble! He's caught in the cons and he is That's gone! It, GG. GG is called! Tundra take game number three and are one game away from being the champions. Yeah, we're getting... Shards in front of crit again. Tag oh, he missed team. Bushwhack. And the raises, the damage, the kill, Nightfall. Gonna get first blood on Crit. This is the hero to look out for for Tundra. The Vortex has the clarity, finds Snake King. There's the Vortex pulling him up, but Skitter's in. here. He got the Dragon Tail, the Bushwhack on a two. Everybody is here for the side of Falcons. Snowball into a Walrus Punch. Warnoff has no mana. He's got no life. They get the kill onto the Storm Spirit. They'll look for White Mon. One more shot needed. Turns into the Elder Dragon and takes He's out like, no. this young Buck Tusk. Yeah, so continue to keep yeah, this, this energy Josh. while they're in a Roche. And uh, they may know Tag this team. on the side of Falcons. They start to meander this over. They've got the scam, but the tag team's too much, and the Aegis is theirs for Tundra. The Ranavitos onto this hoodwink. 
They'll go to the Bushwhack. They're probably going to lose Sox the Blink silence. of the Dragon Tail. They've got the Silence with the Orca, but the Snowball save is there. Magnetize committed. They go to the Freezing Field. Snake King, one, two, three shots. He's dead. Looking for the Requiem. That's going to fly out. They doom up this Broodmother, so Brood damage. will die. Magnetize is going to be reapplied here onto this Shadow Fiend. They'll look to get the kill. They've got the control. They'll get themselves at least the Aegis. But who is here to help? Lornoff doesn't have a lot of mana to work with. They're going to get the roll on oh, a little bit short of Nightfall. Not sure it matters all too much because Shadow Fiend is dead again. Yeah, they got that. It looks like Falcons, they don't care about the clipboard. They've got the vision, but again, it's all about Skitter and whether or not he's going to be able to go in. They go through it in the calling. They've got themselves the BKB from Lornoff, but now the Tusk is trying to go through. He's going to be silenced up. They've got the damage. Oh, the Walrus Punch. They'll take out Skitter to start, but the Magnetize, you got to be careful. It does so, so much, much damage. damage. The Bushwhack, the Snowball pulls in too. Marine trying to reapply the Magnetize. They'll get the kill on a Sox. It looks like they'll get White Mon as well. That's going to be two heroes dead for the price of a Dragon Knight. Mm -hmm. Dragon form Elder used, Dragon they're form, going in. And the spider webs are down again. 33 staying out of the vision of crit. But when you're in these trees, you're very vulnerable to a bushwhack that comes right at you. Could have spot them. They'll go Amar. after Amar to start. They'll go to the Dragon Tail as well as the Orc. It's going to be out the Storm Spirit. They've got the Doom onto the Storm, but he got the BKB. The roll comes out from Alrean. They should be able to get the kill no buyback. onto Lorinov. He doesn't have buyback. The Magnetize doing a lot. The BKBs are running out. They got the Silence onto the Shadow Fiend. They're reapply the Magnetize. Snowball from White Mon. It's not doing enough. They've got the Bushwhack. They have the control. They'll get the kill. They've lost nothing on Falcons. They'll look for Socks and they're trying to get a fourth. They'll have the kick of the team and get themselves just that. Anyone it else? will be that with Roche. Next with 33. Ball hitting Amar again. again. Shadow Feet is here, but the BKB this time is successful to get off for Amar. He thinks about going back in because they have a TP coming over. But Scared. now they've got the silence with the Orchid onto this Tusk. The Geomagnetic Grip for the silence to follow it up. And they get the kill onto White Mon. They take the Tusk to look over as the calling, the Sharpshooter. That will go off and that'll hit the Storm. They go to the Doom. It's onto the Shadow Feet. Now you got to try and run away, but the roll, it connects. They still have this Aegis, so they're going to smoke. They're going to try and make a play. Crit into the Amar. trees. Amar, though. He is in Viz, but the Blink, the Dragon Tail, they're going to go into 33. He'll pop the BKB, they'll focus their attention onto Amar. He gets up into the high ground. Ball Lightning now going the other way, trying to avoid the Doom. Nightfall, knocking. Oh, he does get hit by the Bushwhack. They get the Doom onto the Storm Spirit, but he picks up a Shield Rune. This is going to be the Shadow Fiend out and away by himself. Silence up with the Aegis now singled out. The Magnetize really zoning out Tundra. They're in a lot of trouble. They get the kill to White Mountain. He's going to be the one who has buyback. They'll go to the Pierce, the Veil. Nightfall. They've got the Hex on him out. They're trying to get the kill to the Earth Spirit. The Glaineer comes in. They'll take out the Earth Spirit. He's got buyback. The BKB's going to run out in a moment on this Doom. There's the Hex once again. The fourth step out of the high ground. They're trying to get the Doom. Trying to lock him up. But they end up losing 33. BKB, Ball Lightning, TP attempt. Oh, Lord. Off. Out. Just out. But they lost three on the side of Tundra. The calling is down, the ball lighting the hex, the nullifier, the harpoon, but the bushwhack lands onto the storm spirit as well as this brood mother. They go to the doom, it's gonna be placed onto this storm spirit, and he is dead. Yes, Has buyback. buyback, gonna have to come back into the fight with the BKBs running out. They go to the magnetize, they get the kill to 33. Both these heroes gone, will buy back. BKB from Skinner, the silence exactly. are out with the geomagnetic grip. They're looking over at this shadow field, they'll get the kill. It looks like we're going to a game five. If Falcons can just control them up, kill them off, and that's what they'll do. One by one by one by one. Tundra are gone and Falcons soar into a game five in this grand final. Yeah, we asked for it and it is delivered. They'll try to heal up. Malreen also comes over. First blood for the Nature's Prophet. Getting the kill on a white box. Can Amar get away? Even that old so. pop, Nightfall's gonna get the kill. They'll bring the Alchemist and the Nature's Prophet over. Nightfall stunned up and in trouble. He's got three heroes on him. He'll fairy fire, Lord off, off. Viper Strike, turning this around. They've got level five only on the Enigma, no black hole. But Alchemist run down, and Nightfall survives. Damn, they outplayed them. He might be caught anyway with the Vendetta on cooldown. Is. 33 comes over, the Midnight Pulse takes out the trees, but they've got the War Pine Raider. Angle. They go and hit the Swashbuckle on a 33, but the damage on a Snake King is too overwhelming from White Mon. The Bushwhack don't just TP out this time. They've got the Centaur to follow it up. Malreen comes over and grabs 33. his right click to get the kill. Crit's also dead. Down goes 33 to Amar. And it's a two for two trade, but one that you'd like more on Falcons yeah, with definitely. the kill on Enigma. Malreen. Here with Amar, and they find White Mon, but again, Ursa, this though. Ursa right on to Malreen. He's trying to get out. They've got the break. It's not going to matter. The Rolling Thunder comes in, but the Rod of Atos rock down the, the Ursa Vix. even more. 
Nyx Assassins here. They're going to try and get the kill in a crit with the BKB being finished off for Nightfall. He's able to fight for more. 33. You got to remember that he's got himself this black hole ready to go, and he's going to use it. Amar ends up dead. Three heroes gone on the side of Falcons, and Tundra still coming out ahead. Absolutely beautiful bait once again, and I can't believe they keep on taking them. Like, this Enchantress is never worth it, and it's maybe not the most obvious bait, and that's why they went for her. Like, Gotta be careful. They've also Let's got see. the Ops. They're gonna know, and they are bringing over the Nyx Assassin maybe to catch somebody who's low, but the mech used, well, snaking, and now... Oh, the, the Wisdom and the Dagon! Oh, I the told Vendetta! You. you gotta watch out! They've got the Bushwhack, but the Spike Carapace, now the Sharpshooter. Ursus here, Wrath of Nature. Skitter's oh, in for the Blink. He'll go for crit! Can they make it an 8th? The BKB, the TP out, the classic Nightfall, but he got a kill for it anyway. He's level 22 already. Yep. What is the experience per minute with this Ursa? It's got to be insane. Soxa. Soxa again, Wrath of Nature, Rolling Thunder gets into the Vendetta. They've got the Dust. Spike Carapace for a moment. The Rolling Thunder, now they've got the Sun. They'll get a kill again out of the Nyx Assassin. They're rotating in. Nightfall is already here through the Twin Gate. They need to be careful. And Chance is cutting them spotted. off. Crit, Sharp Shooter. That's going to hit the Ursa, but they are going to get this kill onto this Hoodwink eventually. It's just a matter of time, and it will the be back. Nightfall who gets it. On the back lines, though, they get the Enchantress, and they'll kill off 33. They got the kill to look over at this Alchemist. Is the Basher going to be enough to get the control? No, Nightfall needs to be careful now, surrounded by these Radiant Heroes. Nightfall doesn't have Lornoff yet. Lornoff coming into the fight. They'll take the Aegis out of the hands of the Ursa. This is something that plagued Tundra in the last game, was having this Aegis and getting too confident. But the BKB comes out from Nightfall. He'll TP out, and he'll get away. But Falcons come out ahead. Regen Rune picked up Soxa. He's going to be leading the charge on this. And Amar, he is going to roll away. Ooh, he BKB'd. And he BKB'd early. 33, he's gonna be in trouble. The Rolling Thunder comes out with the Bushwhack. They'll get the kill into the Enigma. They'll take him out. Nightfall doesn't have a BKB to work with. So now he's on the run. The Null fires well as the Rod of Ato is gonna be thrown over onto Nightfall. They get the first hit pass from Skidder. This Ursa's gotta try and run. There's gonna be so much gold that they're gonna be able to take away once Nightfall goes down. And it's a thousand gold from Alreen. He'll TP forward for the Nyx Assassin. Soxa, that Ghost Scepter is not gonna work. It's gonna be nullified. And that will be four heroes dead on the side of Tundra. They're smoked up. Breaking. Blink, crit, it's the supports the black hole onto oh, Amar, but it's immediately stopped. 33 on the run. Warren off here with the Viper Strike. The BKB now from 33. There's no black hole. The Rolling Thunder staying on him. He's one shot from dead. The Swashbuckle connects. They'll end up getting the kill. They'll look over for Amar. They get the kill to the Pangolier, but they also got the Chen. They'll lose the Nyx Assassin. The damage from this Enchantress, not enough to get the kill Skitter, there onto the Hoodwink. He's charging up the sun, throwing it on a Nightfall. They've got the OBS, they have the Sentry, the Rolling Thunder already started the blink onto the Enchantress. The Sharpshooter comes in, they'll go to the stun, they'll go and find themselves right, from Alreen. In. They've got the Black Hole, the Nature's Prophet's in trouble. They should be able to get the kill and they will. He's got buyback, he has a way to TP back over, but Amar's gonna be caught, he's gonna be killed off as well. That's Two heroes is. gone, the buyback from the Enchantress. Oh my. To get the racks, they charge up the stun once again. Can they go? Skitter, there's the blink into the Abyssal, they go for the, the black, black hole. hole! It's gonna be out of the Alchemist, they'll get the Pango as well! He's in the Rolling Thunder, they get a kill on the Skitter, he's gonna have buyback! He's dead for 99 oh, seconds, damage. does he wanna hold it, but the damage coming in, the Refresher gonna be used with the BKB coming out for 33! They look over at Amar, they get the kill to the Pango here, they're gonna want more! Snaking in trouble, the Infinite Shots as well as the Viper gets the kill, they'll take it to third, they all have buyback! They've got the break onto the Viper, he's gonna stand his ground with his Aegis, hoping it kind of expires on him, but he needs to go heal up, regen, Get back. Swift blinking up into the high ground. Berserk potion on the Malreen. Bushwhack's gonna miss. Warnoff goes silent. Two shots, three shots to half health. Malreen's gonna be in trouble. They go to the Abyss away with the black, hole, black hole. It's on to this nature's profit. Malreen's the only one who's got buyback of these cores on the side of Falcons. He might need to use it. There's a black hole again. The Pangolier caught with no buyback. The refresher though. He's got the Aeon Disc. He's gonna survive. They're gonna go after Nightfall. They've got the BKB on the Earth. Some of the Rolling Thunder coming through. Nightfall's in trouble. He'll shield crash. The focus of the intention is on the Urza. They'll send him in back into hibernation and they'll kill this Enchantress. Down goes Viper and Tundra lose three. Available on the Enchantress in 15 seconds. The 10v10 that we've all been waiting for on the tier fives. 
Falcon set up, maybe thinking about the Rolling Thunder. They'll go for it. They're going to blink forward, but they're not going to find anything initially. 33 is going to be hit up into the air. There's the Aeon Disc, so he doesn't need to use the BKB. He gets it off, but he's his damage is too much. Dying. The Enigma, he's going to be dead. He used that BKB, and now maybe they want to leave, but they go to the Viper Strike. It's going to be out of the Nature's Prophet. He's going to turn around and fight Ward off with the TP out with the Aeon Disc. going to be used here by the Nature's Prophet. He gets away. No buyback used yet by the Enigma, but it was used by that Chen. There's the Sharpshooter. Skitter thinking about going in. That's going to be the Lincoln's Pop. They've got the Nullifier on to Skitter. The Dispersion to speed them up. They've got the Bash on to Nightfall. They've got the Bushwhack for the Control for the BKB Turnaround. Skitter's low. Wind Waker. Warnoff. Warnoff. He's going to die. There's Nightfall leaving the fight. Sucks is going to be caught. Spike Carapace isn't going to be enough. And it's three heroes dead on the side of Tundra. Yeah, they all have buybacks, but... They will have to use them. This is a push coming your way for those Mega Creeps. Not that they matter that much anymore, but... Wrath of Nature, Nightfall up front. They're doing the Rolling same. Rolling Thunder, Nightfall needs to be really careful. Amar in with the Rolling Thunder, finds Soxa, Sharpshooter, Mega Creeps, they Mega. are secured. But can they get the Blink Black Hole, the Wind Waker, Nightfall in, Viper Strike's gonna be used here on the Hoodwink, they're gonna try and get the kill there to start. They've got this Hoodwink, dead for two Black minutes, hole. Black Hole, it's out of Elrene, it's out of the Pangolier, but they've got the end, just to go to the other Black Hole again! It's gonna catch up, do they have the damage? They don't! 33 is going to be dead first. They'll look over at Maureen. They'll take the ages out of the hands of Nature's Prophet. Nightfall damage. trying to keep up with Skinner, but the Rolling Thunder coming in. Nightfall's in a lot of trouble, but he's got buyback. If anybody dies for Tundra, it can be him. Warnoff caught. The Lincoln's pot. Viper in trouble. He's going to be secured by Skinner. Oh, and the only kill they really managed to do that is... Oh, Nick's assassin caught. Socks and dead. It's just Ursa. It's just Nightfall. I... It's a hard GG is fight called. for him and GG. Tundra's gonna call it. Team Falcons are your BB Dodger champions. What an insane grand finals. Going all the way five games in and the last game goes for like 70 plus. Incredible team fight. Like the black hole in the end. Like the, that one spell that you hope for to change the game. It looked like it didn't even matter. Like he jumps in, he black holes multiple heroes, but... As the great Blitz once said,